Hello, Steve here, the Some Good Ideas anti-critic. As I have no training or qualifications or even knowledge in the world of the arts, I just make art, I couldn't really call myself a proper art critic. So I'm the anti-critic, and each month I'm just going to talk about an artist that I like, that you may not have heard of, but I think deserves some time in the spotlight. And this month's artist is a chap called uh, Bill Trailer, a guy whose story is as inspiring as his artwork. So here's five things that I thought you might be interested to know about Bill Trailer. Bill Trailer was born into slavery on a plantation in Alabama in 1853, and even after he was freed, he continued to work there as a field hand until the age of 84. However, when he became unable to work due to his age, Trailer moved to Montgomery and began to draw little vignettes on found bits of cardboard of the everyday life he witnessed on the streets where he used to sit every day. And it wasn't until 1939 at age 86 when he was spotted by a local artist who started to promote and sell his work, bringing him a little bit of an income. Trailer died in 1947 at the age of 94, leaving behind over 1,500 works produced during his very short artistic period, much of which was spent living on the streets of Montgomery. His work has posthumously found a following and increased in value, with an exhibition at the Smithsonian and other prestigious institutions. And in January 2020, his Man on White, Woman on Red sold for $507,000. Art by a man who, by all accounts, is buried in a pauper's grave and didn't live to see a penny of any of this money. So if you want to know more about Bill Trailer, the easiest thing is to probably just type his name into Google or other search engines are available. Or to track down a copy of this book, which is an amazing anthology of some of his incredible work that he painted on the streets. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back next month with a different artist that you may be interested in. I'll see you then. Take care.